Yes, we're so excited to be back here on Living Oklahoma. I am the dog, <laughs> woof woof, of science. Mm-hmm. Miles is on vacation. But uh, I got something for you. I like to call this Newton's second law of motion. And the reason I call it this, because, well, that's what it is. <laughs> okay. And this is what it says that an object will move as a force is acted upon it, but it will move only in relation to the mass of the object or, you know, how much stuff there is in the stuff. <laughs> That's a lot to that's a lot to take on. Okay, here. Let me show you this. I'll show you how to do it at home. This is what I've got. I've got a little block that I'm gonna set this on. And I got a couple of paint paddles. And what I did, I went and I glued with a hot glue gun, I glued a little water, uh, a little, little water bottle top on that. And then I did the same thing on another one. Right here. Okay. Put that right there like that. Now check this out. I've got a got an old Easter egg from last year. I'm gonna put that right there. And I've got a, I've got another old Easter egg here somewhere. Here you go. Put that right there. And I've got some kind of a little hero monster here who's going to be our force. Now, remember, the force of an object moving is going to move in direct relation to how much force is there and how much mass is in the object. So let's check this out. Watch what happens when I drop him on the orange egg. Okay, to make sure I get the same height, I'm going to hold him like this. You ready? Wow, that went way up in the sky and almost hit me. Now watch this one on the blue egg. You ready? What was the difference? I am so glad you asked. Now here's the difference. In the orange egg, which is over there somewhere, there was nothing inside. In the blue egg, which is down there somewhere, I filled it up with Play-Doh before we came on, okay? So the blue egg was much heavier, which means it had a greater mass because there was stuff inside, okay? So even though we used the same weight twice, even though it dropped on the orange one and the blue one from the same height, so the acceleration was the same, the mass made the difference. So you wanna do this at home? That's the easiest way to do it. Also, you can do it by changing how hard or how fast the force is going. So you can change variable at each end. Pretty cool, huh? Now, we got something really cool for you today. We're talking about Newton's three laws of motion. You may think of Newton, Sir Isaac Newton, as the apple guy. You know, the guy that supposedly sat under a tree, apple fell on his head, and he said, wow, it fell down, must be gravity. Okay, but there's so much more to Isaac Newton than that. Um, In fact, he came up with three laws of what we call three laws of motion. Now, when I was a little kid, we used to have what we called a Newton's cradle. And it was kind of like this thing. I made one of my own. I just made a framework of craft sticks and I took hot glue and I glued all these craft sticks together, all these points, okay? And then I took five pieces of string and I glued them across the top on both sides so that they hung down pretty much the same level. And then I hot glued marbles across the bottom. So now I have a swing or a cradle. Now check this out. Newton's law, third law of motion says, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So I have a question for you. If I take one of these marbles like this, I pull it across here and I let it go, what do you think will happen? Hmm? Will the marble bounce back off? Will it move everything? We should try. Okay, good. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this marble and I'm going to, did you see that? I take this marble and I let it go and it makes the one on the other end go. Pretty cool, huh? For every action, one marble going in, reaction, another marble going out. Okay, let's try it with two. So I'm going to do it with two. Watch carefully. I'm going to stop this from moving here. You see what happened? I do this and two go. Let me try it from this side, see if it works any different. I do this, and two go. What's gonna happen if we do three? Hmm. There aren't three marbles on the other side to go. So if I drop three, there's not, well, let's try, okay? I'm gonna pull these three out right here. Did you see what happened? That red one went right across here. The red one flew the whole way. Now, because this is homemade, a lot of them are moving along with it. 
if you buy one in a store, they'll all be the same because it's made exactly right. But you can make it at home. It's pretty cool. It's called a Newton's Cradle. And it shows that for every action, a marble going in, reaction, a marble coming out. Pretty cool, huh?